Hey guys, so since I got engaged, um, I've been cooking all the time. And I wanted to show you guys this recipe for guacamole that my friend Lauren showed me in Bardstown. And it's super freaking delicious. So you start off with a whole avocado. And I'm never good at this part. But you get this little... You get the this thing out and then some people slice their avocados but I just take a spoon and literally scoop it out get all of that because you need because the more avocado the more guac you have the better so get it all out get this last piece of peel off mm. and then just smush it all to pieces you want to get as little chunks as in there as possible I take my spoon and smush it on the side like this. This is probably the worst part, is trying to squish the avocados. Oh yeah, this is better. Just take your knife and just chop it a bunch. You know what, I should have cut it before I put it in here y'all don't make the mistakes that I did because I'm literally just cutting it now so so then after you got it chopped up a bit scoop it all to one side and literally mush 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 there we go. Mm. I love avocado. Next, I'm going to take this pico de gallo. Now, you can make your own. It's basically just tomato, cilantro, and onion. It is just tomato, cilantro, and onion. Did I just buy the, the, the uh, containers from Kroger? And... You want to get that juice in there, too, so it's a bit juicy. Um, depending on how many avocados you use, you're probably not going to want to put all of it in there. And since I'm just using one avocado, because we want to use the other avocado, well, we could do... Yeah, I'm going to go... My bad, guys, but... I'm going to cut another avocado and we're making tacos tonight and we're going to put like some avocado chunks in there. So I'm going to leave one half of it for our tacos and the other half for uh, I'm going to put in the guac. So this is what you should do on like the other. Cut it a bunch while it's already in here so that it's easier to mush when you get it in your bowl so go ahead and scoop that out okay 
like ninjas. Ooh. Mush, 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 mush. I'm gonna take my knife again. Get the big pieces. Chop them up. Is that you? Okay. Mix it up. Mm. And you want to have a good ratio where you're going to get guac and tomato and onion and cilantro in every bite so it should look a little bit something like that mm. good but not good enough next you're going to add hot sauce i've got the louisiana but you can do whatever kind and with this i go a bit wild because I like spicy. So just mix it up. That should make your ooh, make your guac a little bit darker. good but not good enough next to give it a bit of a tang you're going to take some lemon juice you can do fresh squeezed lemon or you can do this because it's only 99 cents squeeze a bit in there I'm, I don't do measurements because everybody likes their own amount of stuff I would just taste test it if you're cooking for your family. If you're not, I mean, use a different spoon to taste test it, but. Okay. Mmm. And then last but not least, salt and pepper. Not too much. Because you've already got all the other sauces in there. But. Mmm. Delicious. I might have went a little bit overboard with hot sauce. But. It's still really good. So then. You just dip your chip in it. Um, and of course. Wash your hands before you start to make this. If you don't, this just gross. Do not cook without washing your hands. Alright, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you try this recipe. If you try this recipe, leave in the comments and let me know if you like it or not. Personally, I love it.